Hello and welcome back. So in this episode I want to talk a little bit more about the worn edges of materials. So let's say I fill this with a poly, poly lasso object and then hit space to render. Now if I do worn edges, um, why don't I move this just a little bit and render it. Now let's say I want to create worn edges around the the whole box, right? So I want a worn edge here, a worn edge here, a worn edge here. So I'm going to select my material by hitting control and then I'm going to scroll down to worn edges and I'm just going to bring this up. Now you can see we've got these real-time worn edges and they look really nice. It kind of looks like the material is being like uh, sanded off on the edges. Um, but we didn't we didn't get one here and we don't have one here on this edge. Even though this is the edge of our geometry, it's the edge of our model, um, there's no worn edge there because this worn edge got pushed off. This is out here. So like if, if this was lined up it would create a worn edge on that corner. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're trying to create worn edges, it's not doing it along your geometry. It does it um, and, and I mean it makes sense, it, it does it along the geometry you created here. So I'm just going to set, set this back to zero, space to render, and now uh, it's looking a lot better. I can also shrink this and hit space to render and expand it just to get the look and feel that I want and then bring up the worn edges amount. Uh, I, I also really like the way it looks if you layer the different pieces. Uh, I'm going to select this piece and hit Control D to duplicate, drag this up and shrink it. And then I'm just going to hit space. And now the material underneath is still on the edge, so that's what we're going to use for the worn edges of our shape. Um, and then what's inside, uh, we can make this whatever material we want, and now we don't have to worry about um, not having worn edges. And uh, I think I just, um, I'm going to set this to 2, and then I'm going to go into top view, and just cut across this and create some interesting geometry. One, two, three, four, five, space to render. And I can take all of these and shrink them using the shrink tool here. If I shrink them with this tool, they shrink relative to their own center. Whoops. Uh, so like, they're shrinking uh, sort of like away from each other. So now if I render it, there's like bigger cracks. And then I can also shrink them with the Unity Transform tool, and now they shrink um, relative to each other. So, like, if I if I wanted to create some sort of like like loot crate or something, I, w I would probably want to use this material set, and I could just apply the four material um, all around the edge. And why don't I bring up the worn edges on that? So uh, I just tried to bring it up, and th this is a mistake I make all the time. I don't have the right material selected here, so I just need to highlight it, hit Control, and then bring up worn edges. And uh, I'm going to select this color, that would be material 5, and I'm just going to apply that here. So using techniques like this, you can get some pretty interesting geometry pretty quickly. I'm going to apply zero here, render that, that gives us some emission, and uh, let's change that to nine, orange emission. Now I can also use the detail tool, 
And why don't we just add something like this. Or this one. I'm going to stretch it by hitting shift and left click and scaling. And I'm just going to make it as large as as large as it can be within this space right here. Space to render. We can also add text fairly easily. And um, if, if you end up with like a weird alignment like this, you can just move the camera until you can see this Y gizmo. Click on that, and now you're on top view. And I think I'll just take like this. Make sure that the detail tool is activated. Take this and drop it here. And I, I know there's a way to randomly change the text. I forgot what it is off the top of my head. Um, so I'm just going to go to the text mesh component and change this to um, radioactive. Yeah, that works. Whoops. Radioactive. Render. I think that needs to be bigger. So I'm just going to scale it. Uh, w to activate, or sorry, E to activate rotation. W to activate the move tool. And I guess if it's radioactive, we should probably use the, whoops, uh, the radioactive symbol. And um, left click set objects uh, symmetry. Okay, never mind. Add detail radioactive. Scale it up and just plop it on there. Space to render. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, it does. It it doesn't really make sense as an object, but I I think it looks interesting. Now, if we want to, we can export that using the export maps and then create a standard material from that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.